How to convert XML to CSV file. There are several methods you can try. Using an online tool, Notepad++, Excel to convert XML to CSV, or even a Python script. Let's start with the first method, using an online tool. First, let's open the XML file to check the data. You can open it in any tool like Notepad, Notepad++, or Microsoft Visual C++. Here's our data. Now, go to Google and search for Convert XML to CSV tool. Open any website you prefer from the results. There, you'll have the option to either paste your XML code or upload the XML file manually. For this guide, let's choose the manual upload method. Click on the upload button, browse for your XML file, select it, and click open. Once the file is processed, the website will display your XML data. You can now download it in CSV or Excel format. You can also click on the copy to clipboard button to copy the data as plain text. But for now, let's download the CSV file. After downloading, open the folder where the file was saved and then open the CSV file to check the data. And that's it. Now, let's try the second method using Notepad++. First, open your XML file in Notepad++. Delete the first few lines that include XML version and encoding. Next, go to the Language tab at the top and make sure XML is selected. Then, click on File. Save as and save the file with a new name. Now, open Excel. In Excel, click on File at the top. Then select Computer. And click on Browse. Find and select the new XML file you saved. Click Open. When prompted, make sure as an XML table is selected, then click OK to proceed. Click OK again on the next prompt. And that's it. Now let's try the third method using Excel. First, open Excel on your system. Go to the Data tab and click on From Other Sources. From the list, select from XML Data Import. Now, Browse and select your XML file. Then click Open. A prompt will appear just click OK. Another window will pop up. Make sure XML table in existing worksheet is selected. Then click OK again. Your XML data will now be displayed in Excel. To save it as a CSV file, click on File. Save as. Then choose Computer and click Browse. Select the location. Rename the file if needed. In the Save as Type dropdown, choose CSV, Delimited. Then click Save. Click Yes if prompted. Now, go to the folder where you saved the CSV file. Open it and check the data. And that's it. Let's try the fourth method using Python. First, you need to install the required Python libraries. Press Windows plus R, type CMD, and hit Enter to open command prompt. In the terminal, type PIP install pandas, then press Enter. This will install the necessary libraries. Now let's move forward. Open the folder where your XML file is located. On the left is XML file, and on the right is the Python script. You'll find the script in the description. Before running it, you need to make a few changes. Scroll to the bottom of the script. Update the XML file name to match your file. Also, set a name for the output CSV file. And make sure it ends with .csv. Next, go to the top left, click on File. Save as. Set the file name as XML underscore converter .py. In the Save as Type dropdown, choose All Files. Then click Save. Now you can close the editor. Your Python script is now ready to use. Make sure the Python script and the XML file are all in the same folder. Now, go to the top of the File Explorer window and click the address bar. Type CMD and press Enter. This will open command prompt in that folder's location. In the command prompt, type Python XML underscore converter.py 
then press enter. The conversion will start and finish in a few seconds. Once done, close the command prompt. Now open the CSV file to check your converted data. And that's it. Each method has its own limitations. Online tools aren't secure for sensitive files and have size limits. Notepad++ needs manual editing, which can lead to errors. Excel may misread complex XML structures. Python scripts require technical skills and setup, which might not suit everyone. For that, you can use offline tools like SysTools XML Converter. It's fast, reliable, and keeps your data safe by processing everything locally, no internet or file upload needed. You can find the download link in the description. Once downloaded, simply install the software on your system. Once launched, you'll see a clean and intuitive interface with clear navigation tabs and action buttons. You'll see two options to add your XML files, add files, or add folder option. Add files to select individual XML files from your system and folder. To import an entire folder containing multiple XML files. Click on either add files or add folder based on your requirement. Browse to the location of your XML files. Select the desired files and then click on the open button. Once imported, the selected XML files will be listed on the dashboard under the selected path section, along with their corresponding file size and megabytes. If you wish to remove any file from the list, simply select the file, then click the remove button to delete it from the list. Alternatively, click remove all if you want to clear all the added files in one go. After reviewing your file list, Click the next button at the bottom right corner of the screen to move forward. In the export options section, you will see there are multiple export format option. You can choose how you want to convert or export your XML data. Next, you need to set the destination path, the location on your system where the output files will be saved. Click the change button, select your folder and confirm. Now click on the export button to begin the conversion process. Once the export is complete, a confirmation message will appear stating that the process was successfully completed. Click the OK button to close the prompt as a final step. Click on the View Report button. This will generate a detailed summary of the export operation, and you'll find your converted output files carefully saved and organized in the format you selected. And that's it. That's how you can effortlessly import your XML files convert them into the desired format, and export them with accuracy and ease.